Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a cheap remote control circuit. Other remote control circuits can cost around $60 or more. If you make it with Arduinos, you'll need two of them. And that can cost a lot. This only costs around $20. And it can be used for a various number of projects. Now for materials, you're going to need some black electrical tape some epoxy or hot glue, either one will work. You're also going to need a 9 volt battery and a 9 volt battery clip. It should have a switch built in like this one. You'll also need a multi-tool with a screwdriver and a knife on it, as well as some alligator clips and a project box to house it in. And the final two most important pieces are this LEGO IR transmitter and LEGO IR receiver. I'll have links in the description for both of them. Oh yeah, and the IR transmitter takes three AAA batteries, so make sure to get those. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to cut off and splice the end of the IR receiver. So you're left with four exposed wires. Then unscrew the four screws on the bottom. Once you've done that, the bottom should pop right off. Next, get your knife and pry up both sections of wires coming off of the circuit board. Remove the metal pieces and strip the wires down, being careful not to cut yourself. They should look like this. Then go ahead and pull out the circuit board. Then take the four wires coming off and cut off the middle two. We only need the two outside ones. Then get your 9 volt battery and test it out. Attach one of the wires to the positive terminal and the other to the negative. The green light should go on, but if it doesn't, try reversing the polarity. If this still doesn't work, then try a new battery. Once you've figured out which wire is positive and which is negative, you can go ahead and hook up your battery clip. Then wrap some electrical tape around the connections. Test out your switch and make sure it works. Then grab your alligator clip and cut off the ends leaving about 6 inches of wire. Then strip the ends off the two clips. Repeat this process with another alligator clip. Then following this diagram, wire up the four alligator clips to the IR receiver. Then just trim off the wires that were not used. Now all that's left is to put it in the project box, but you can leave it as is if you're planning on using it for one specific thing. Okay, so grab your project box and make two small grooves on either side. These grooves should be big enough to hold two wires each. Also make a hole in the bottom so the receiver can get the signal. Then using epoxy or hot glue, glue the IR transmitter circuit board to the bottom of the project box. Bend the receiver down and make sure it lines up with the hole, but first make sure the switch is in the utmost position. I cut out a groove for the switch on the side, but once the circuit board is in place, you can go ahead and hook up your 9 volt battery and place it right on top of the circuit board. Then put all four wires into the grooves and screw the lid on top. It should look like this when you're done. Let's try it out. I'll switch the switch into the on position. Now the great thing about this is you can control two things at once. So to one set of the alligator clips I've hooked up this motor and to the other set I've hooked up a light. This specific remote can also adjust the voltage so when I turn the knob, it gets brighter and dimmer, and when I hit the button, it'll shut off completely. And the really cool thing is I can get them going both at once. This thing has a pretty good range too. With a clear pathway, I was able to get a good 90 feet or so. There are many uses for this, and I'll demonstrate them in my upcoming videos. And for around $20, it's a great thing to have. So, project aside, I want to talk to you guys about this newsletter I'm starting. It's called Amazing Creations. It'll be sent once or twice a week, and it'll feature everything from cool new technology, to project videos, to things that you guys submit as well. It'll also be helpful if for some reason this channel was ever shut down, I would be able to reach you guys and let you know it's up. So I really encourage you guys to go subscribe to the newsletter. It's really easy, just click the first link in the description, or if you have your annotations on, just click the screen, then just enter your name and email, and then you'll also receive a free ebook. This book is basically a preview to the one I'm making right now. The book essentially takes my projects and turns them into an instruction manual. Video tutorials can be kind of hard to follow, because if you don't understand something, the video will keep on going anyway. So this ebook is basically a manual that contains step-by-step -step detailed instructions with pictures about many of my projects. If this sounds at all interesting to you, get the free preview when you subscribe to the newsletter. And if you like this project and want to see more, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Thanks for watching.